One reason why Galaxy Note 4 is so famous is because of the S Pen. It enables us to do a lot of things. So in this video, I'm gonna show you top 10 must-have applications for S Pen. The first application on the list is GMD S Pen Control. This application lets you to perform certain actions using gestures from S Pen. You can perform gestures to go back, go to home, open launchpad with shortcuts, applications and a lot more. After downloading this application, just open it and it will be enabled. You can disable it from the stop icon located at the top right corner. Below, you will find list of gestures that you can perform. However, some gestures did not work every time and I, have to, I had to input those gestures a few times for this application to recognize it. At side, you will find options to create your own gesture, to launch an application, shortcuts or some actions for controlling media. Then from launchpad, you can customize the launchpad, change number of items, change items in it. From blacklist, you can choose items in which you want to pause the gestures. Although, to use this application, your phone needs to be rooted. So that's all about this application. You might need to learn how to apply these gestures so that this application can recognize it. So overall, this application can be very useful while using the Note 4 with S Pen. Next application on the list is a game called Scribble Racer, which was developed mainly to play with a stylus. You need to follow the path, avoiding to collide with borders and collecting coins. There are three different levels in this game and this game is very fun to play and addictive. So if you are a Note user, you should definitely try this game. The next application on the list is Touch Retouch. This application lets you to remove unwanted object or content from the photo. It does a very good job at it and this application makes it really easy to do so. With S Pen, you will be able to select the object accurately for better result. To remove an object, just open a picture, select the area you want to remove, in this case, let it be this bamboo. Select it and then press the start button. It disappears and the result is very good, as if it was never there. This application works at all the small objects. Objects which don't take a huge space, like here, it works perfectly. But when removing this rock, it tries its best, but fails to do so. Trying it again on the part makes the result somewhat better, but it's not completely removed. If you want to do it manually, you can do it by cloning one part of the photo to the other part. That's basically how this application works. The interface is very simple with very few easy to use tools. So that's all about this application. The next application on the list is Multi Window App Manager. One of the great features of Note series is that it can open application in multi window mode. Note 4 has some new multitasking features which allows to open application in window mode. So you can have a lot of applications opened at one time. But it's limited to only a few applications and with this application, you can enable any application you want to work in multi-window or window mode. However, for this application to work, your phone needs to be rooted. As you can see here, after enabling this, you can even open games alongside a lot of other applications while multitasking and Note 4 will be able to handle all of these. Enabling application is very simple. Just open the application and there will be a list of all the applications. Selecting one will add it to the left side. Once you are done, hit apply and reboot. You will find all the new applications in the edit section of the multi-window menu. You should definitely install this application if you are rooted. And if you are not, I recommend you to root your device as it enables you to do a lot of cool stuffs. The next application on the list is Flipper Clip. Flipper Clip is a really fun to use application. With this application, you can create an animation video by drawing frame by frame of the video. Starting this application, it will ask you to choose FPS, background and then you are good to go. There are all the basic tools you would need for drawing. There are different types of pen. You can change its size, 
Other tools include eraser, selection tool so you can copy some parts of one frame into another. On the left side, there are tools to manage layers, preview video, change initial settings like background, FPS, and an option to manage frame. It's a great application to utilize your S Pen. You might spend a lot of time in this application converting your creative ideas into an animated film. The next application on the list is Artflow. Artflow is a sketchbook with a lot of tools, useful tools displayed in a very easy to use interface. Loading this application, you'll just find the canvas. All the tools are hidden. To reveal those, you just need to press this small dot and the bars will appear. On the upper bar, there is this brush tool. Tapping it again will reveal another bar, from where you can choose between a lot of different options, change its size, opacity, si uh, softness, and much more. Then there is this little hand tool. With this, you can use your fingers to spread out the colors, give it a smudge effect. And there are some other basic tools here. On the right bar, you can manage layers. For each layer, there are a lot of options, options to lock it, set, it, set its transparency level, hide it and a lot more. Then again, there are a lot of options to change the pen's input to a line or any shape. So that's all about this application. It's a really fun to use application and there were a lot of tools that I didn't cover in this video. So just give this application a try uh, as this application is very easy to use and there are a lot of good tools in this application. The next game on the list is Draw Stickman Epic. In this game, you need to first create your own character and travel to find a lost friend, burning obstacles, running them away. There is plenty to do in this game and there are a lot of levels in this game. It's one of the best games to be played with S Pen on the Galaxy Note 4. So just give this game a try. The next application on the list is S Pen Toolbox. I also showed this application in my top application for Node 4 video. Check it out if you haven't already. The link is in the description box below. In this application, there are options which you can use to control a lot of things about S Pen. First of all, above here, you can set to have a custom sound played whenever S Pen is attached or detached. Then, you can choose to execute an action or application whenever S Pen is detached. You can set to launch S Node, which can be very helpful for a lot of people. At bottom, a list of applications and shortcuts will appear whenever S Pen is detached. This, uh, this list is similar as Launchpad in GMD S Pen application, which I mentioned earlier in this video. Then below, there's S Pen Attach option where you can choose to turn the screen off or return to home. Adding an item in action list is easy. Just hold on the area and option to add items will pop up. So that's all about this application. The next application on the list is Fastest Pender. It's actually a game which again is meant to be played with stylus. It's a really fun game. Here you will be shown a picture. Then in a limited time, you need to color about 70% of the picture with right color. It's really entertaining and it gets difficult as you proceed to next levels. In the pro version, there are a lot of levels available. The next application on the list is my script stylus. I have talked about this application a few times now, but for S Pen, it is one of the best applications as it lets you to write instead of typing words. It converts your input into text. There are a few gestures to help you while typing. Like to split word, you can do it by drawing a line in between them. You can delete word or insert one in between. User can easily switch between the keyboards from the notification menu which appears while typing. This application might be faster than usual keyboard and for some it may not. There is no learning curve here as the recognition is very good and the word predictions is also very good. Just give this application a try and see if this keyboard is for you. 
So that's all about this video. Hope you guys have found some applications for yourselves. And if you know of any other good application for S Pen, do comment below. And subscribe me on YouTube and follow on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. The links are below in the description box. So thanks for watching, have a great day and see you guys next time.